JDI has partnered with Natural Resources Canada, Carleton University, and Environment and Climate Change Canada on a five-year songbird research project on JDI land in northern New Brunswick. What this study is allowing us to do is it's, it's, it's letting us understand at a much deeper level the use of breeding birds of a whole range of different forest types and by combining the information that we have about those forest types we're able to project across the entire landscape at any point in time how much habitat is, is available for, for various groups of birds. Understanding and modeling specific habitat use and needs of birds at the local and landscape scale is an effective way to analyze the influence of forest management on songbird diversity and abundance. It's, it's very exciting. Uh, working in a place like this um, where there's so much data already been collected and available, the spatial data, the environmental data um, is, is fantastic. It's in fact, uh, it's, it's, um, there's more data available here than in almost any other research forest in Canada, I think. So um, that opportunity is, is uh, unprecedented um, as well. Uh, we've had great cooperation with uh, Irving to, um, to provide data and to, to show us around and to, and to give us sort of the background that we need to understand how, how best to design the study. As part of the study, we need to collect uh, and understand the distribution of forest birds within this uh, within this landscape. And in, in order to do that, we're using automated uh, programmable recorders to record birdsong. We bring those back to the lab and, and interpret the songs. And based on that, we understand what the distribution of these birds is over the over the landscape. Then we take spatial data of the, envir of the environment. So we have some really nice high-tech data here, remotely sensed um, data on tree composition and uh, vegetation structure um, and soil properties that we can use to, to understand what habitats birds are using. The fact that this forest is intensively managed means that there is a very interesting role for science to play because what we do is we have a really incredible case study for predicting how forests are managed and what forests are going to look like in the future. And so then what we can do is we can use this as a uh, laboratory to try to model what is happening with the ecosystem in the future. This approach is especially useful because it can allow projections into the future under specific management regimes, as well as different climate change scenarios. So if, you, if you're doing things right, if you're maintaining the long-term sustainability of the forest, then you're going to be providing habitat for forest birds, and so they can provide lots of information about forest integrity and sustainability. Mm -hmm. 